In this video, I'm gonna talk about maintenance of the Novridge SSP1. And here there is two different um, things you have to keep in mind. There is first of all the maintenance for using CO2 magazines and then the maintenance for using gas magazines. Now the maintenance is basically the same. The only difference is how often you perform it. For green gas magazines, there you have to know that the gas that goes inside the magazines, it's self-lubricating. So uh, not self-lubricating, but there's just silicone loop inside the gas which loops up the entire gun while shooting. Um, for the CO2 mag, it's not the case, it's dry gas, so you have to do more maintenance. Here I recommend for the green gas, you know, every 60 fired magazines, you should do one maintenance. And for CO2, I recommend that you do it after all 30 magazines. Okay, now let's get right into it. We start with the pistol maintenance and later we're gonna go into the magazine maintenance. For the maintenance, I'm using the Norwich maintenance kit, which includes everything I need for maintaining the SSP1. So I'm talking about, you know, rubbing alcohol, screw glue, then we have mech oil, we have six silicon oil, silicon oil, and then also the fabric right here, very special fabric for cleaning barrels, and it's not gonna be like normal tissues where you have the residues all over the place. You can also use, you know, substances from the hardware store that works totally, but in case you don't have them yet, I recommend you to get this maintenance kit for your SSP, especially if you're using CO2 magazines on your SSP. Now, in order to disassemble the gun, we have to push the slide back until the knob right here aligns with the slide catch. Then I press this little button right here and I push it in. Then it comes out right here. If you have problems with it coming out, push harder or you can also grab into the inside of the slide and push the knob out right here. Then we pull it out and right now we can let the slide go forward. You can decock the hammer and you have the frame disassembled from the slide. Now we want to disassemble the slide. That's a little bit tricky if you've never done it. Uh, you might have some problems, but just have a closer look on how I do it so you will be able to do it too. Here we have a little cutout. You insert your fingernail right here with two fingers and then you go here into the back. You push the spring guide here together and then you can take it out. Um, again, it is very hard to perform, so I'm gonna show it one more time. Put it in there. Uh, once again, here I take my fingernails, put it into the grooves, then I place my thumb here, I press it together, and then I remove the entire thing. Now I'm gonna press here on the outer barrel, and I'm gonna push it forward, the nozzle is going to move with it, then it's going to come out. And now we slide it out of the entire slide. And there we go. All right, now we have it disassembled into the main parts. So let's start with the frame of the gun. We take one of the tissues. Here that's special, again, special cellulose tissues. And on this SSP, that's my personal one, I didn't clean it for three games just for this video. So you can see how dirty those guns can actually get. What we want to do now is cleaning the contacts right here, the, the guide rails to the slide. So that's where your slide moves. And of course here, you're gonna have residues from the metal. You wanna wipe it off. You see that it's very dirty already. So we want to clean this off. And you know, just really get in there, press the tissue together and get all of the dirt off this rails. Also right here, that's also where the slide rests. You want to clean all of this and since you're already, you know, cleaning it, just clean also the inside because again, this is where the auto barrel goes inside. Here we can already see a slight whir of the coating, not a big deal, but again, here just clean it all nicely. You know, rails also here in the back, you can uncock the hammer. Also remove here all the dirt just to get really in there. Uh, the trigger parts here, the hammer, and then also on the other side, of course, just really you know, fold it together, push it in there and try to get all the dirt out of the pistol. Uh, so it should be bone dry after you finish with this, just clean it all up everywhere with a slight contact with the frame. You wanna have that nice and clean. Now that we finish this, we're gonna take a new cloth because this one is dirty um, and we take the new one, we use some mech oil because here we have a metal to metal connection. So that's this one right here. It's a very thin mech oil. We opened up and then we apply it onto the tissue, to the cellulose fabric. 
and this is what we want to use to loop it up. You want to make a very thin layer, you know, don't do the, you know, dripping it on there because then you're going to have the oil everywhere. And you only want to have this oil on the metal surfaces because this is very aggressive to O-rings, so you don't want to get it into the nozzle or anywhere there. So you just make, you know, you put a very thin and nice layer of this oil onto all the parts that connect with the slide. So here you will see it's shiny, here it's dry. That's how you want to have it. Just put it on there, get it, get it onto all the parts, and then you, you know, put more oil and put it here on the other side. Again, really get it in there so all the contacts are oiled up and looped. So you get a nice and smooth cycling slide. Also in front, and then we also. You know, once again, refresh, put more oil, and also get it in here, because of also here, the slide is going to touch. Okay, there we go. Then you also want to put some of the oil here onto the hammer, and here onto the sear parts, because here the slide, you know, it's going to rack back the hammer, and you want to eliminate wear as much as possible. That's why we put the oil on there. So much about the frame. Now you are actually already done with the frame. As you can see, uh, it is very quickly done. So we can put the frame aside. Now we're going to move on with the recoil spring. Here what we want to do is, you know, take it apart, take off everything right here. Um, the spring guide itself is two pieces, so try if you can unscrew it. If you can't unscrew it, you're all good. If you can unscrew it, however, unscrew it all the way and put some of the screw glue right here. You put it into the thread, really work it into the thread or drop it into the hole and then you screw it back together. Now we also want to um, remove all the dirt again from the uh, spring guide right here. Here again, you can use the dirty, the dirty clothes, and then we use again the clean one. We apply some of the mech oil here, and we work it onto the spring guide. So it has a nice coating because the spring guide is made of steel, and you know, first of all, we don't want it to oxidize, and then we also want to keep it nice and looped up. Then we can put it aside to the finished part here where the frame is. So now you, you clean the spring, shouldn't be too dirty, but just, you know, wipe it one time. Then here again, you can put some mech oil onto this tissue and you just twist the spring here a little bit that you get the coating also onto the spring. Now you put it aside again to the finished parts. Then you take this part right here, also you clean it up. And this one you don't have to oil because once the spring goes inside there, uh, it's gonna get oiled anyways. Okay, then you put it aside. Up next is the slide right here. Here it gets a little bit more complicated because there's different parts. We have the aluminium right here, but we also have um, the rubber seals. So for here we have to use different uh, lubricants. So first of all, again, we clean the entire slide here, especially the parts where it gets in contact with the frame. So we really try to get the tissue in there and to get out all the dirt. Um, if you're having a hard time performing this, you can take the slide catch, wrap the tissue around it, then really get it down those rails. Maybe take the tissue twice so you don't scratch anything. And then you just work it down these rails here, oh, these cutouts actually. Right. So make it all nice and clean here on both sides. Remove all dirt, and then you can also you know, go inside here with your finger. Try to get all the try to get all the dirt removed. Now that you're done with this, we're gonna again work the mech oil through it. So we apply some of the mech oil, and we put it here again on the contact surfaces to the to the frame and then also all over here because that's also going to go into the frame and everywhere where we have metal against metal friction we want to have this oil applied then we also work it into the grooves you know the the guides and then we also want to have it right here where the uh, where the locking of the other barrel takes place. Also loop those. And then you also want to have it here in the back because this is what cocks the hammer and also there we want to avoid wear as much as possible. 
Okay, there we go. So much about the mech oil on the slide. Now what we want to do next is using the Sin Silicon Oil. Uh, now, in general here, I recommend Sin Silicon Oil for all parts of the SSP, you know, that are uh, made of plastic or that have rubber components. Unless it, you know, you're playing at really, really hot environments, so I'm talking about 30 degrees plus, then I recommend you to use the Sin Silicon Oil. First you open it, and now what you want to do is pull the nozzle forward and apply the Sin Silicon Oil onto this O-ring right here. You can use a little bit more, let it drip in there, you know, just move the nozzle up and down. And also here, you know, take a fresh tissue because you don't want to mix up the mech oil with the silicon oil. Put it on here again and now you can really wipe down this nozzle, so the entire surface. Just put it here and there. Now you can also here apply the silicone on top. And here don't save with the, with the silicone, of course you don't, want to, you don't want it to drip down, but you can apply a little bit more then you can do it with the mech oil. Okay, then move it back and forward, back and forward. You can also put it in here a little bit and then move it back and forward. Multiple times, so you spread the silicon oil and yeah, then you are done with the slide two. Put it aside to the other parts that are finished and now we're gonna move on to the outer barrel. I don't recommend to separate the outer barrel from the inner barrel because it's gonna accelerate the whir. Um, so just leave it together. What we want to do here is we take a part of the tissue right here, we rip it apart, we rip it apart a second time and then there's two ways to go. If you have a barrel cleaning rod, you know, you just fold it and you put it through the loop. If you happen to not have a barrel cleaning rod, you can also use a line, you know, some small rope. You just push it down, you make a loop, you push it down the barrel and when the loop is here, you just um, put the tissue through and then you pull on it. Uh, but I have a barrel cleaning rod, so what am I gonna do is I use the rubbing alcohol, this one right here, also included in the Norwich maintenance kit. Just put it here, then I can put some of the rubbing alcohol here into the cap. You know, just a little bit, actually it was too much already. And then you wanna soak the cloth in there and you want to push it down the barrel but before you want to turn off the hop up completely so push this little arrow all the way to zero hop up and then go down the inner barrel you know turn it and then as you can see it is really really dirty then you put it back uh, so yeah, make sure that the hopper is turned off, otherwise you can damage the hopper knob and you want to avoid this at all costs. Okay, then you repeat this process until the tissue is clean. So you take a new tissue, you repeat it again, and when the tissue comes out clean and not dirty at all, then your inner barrel is finished. Now what you also want to make sure is that those two screws here, that they are nice and tight, that they're not loose. So you can take a screwdriver, you know, test a little bit if they're loose. I know those here are secure with screw glue, but you know, just test it on yours because due to the recoil, it can happen that those screws might come loose. If they come loose, just, you know, again, apply some of the screw glue onto the screws and just thread it in there again. Then what you want to do next is cleaning the outer barrel. So you take the, actually this one is too dirty already, just, you know, let's take a new one. You clean it all up. And because also here, the outer barrel is a part of friction, you know, the slide is cycling along it. You want to take the mech oil apply it onto the tissue again and wipe down, especially here at the locking mechanism here at the locking point for the slide. You wanna all, you know, have it nice and oiled up. So do this for the entire auto barrel and you can also do it here a little bit on the hop-up unit because, I mean the hop-up chamber, because it's gonna move inside the auto barrel and here also we should have as less friction as possible. Exactly. Um, then I totally forgot about those two parts right here. Just also, you know, clean them up. It never harms to clean anything. And if you're not sure anymore how they go on there, first of all, you put the rubber on there, the rubber piece, and then you wanna put on there the, the washer right here. While the, you know, it's bent in one direction and you wanna have it on like this. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna put everything back together. 
Therefore, we take the slide first. Uh, we tidy everything up. Let's put the other code back in here. Uh, by the way, you know, always make sure that you keep your workspace nice and tidy, not like me just right, right now. So, so you don't get any confusions right here. Okay, now what we want to do is insert the auto barrel again. Just slide it into the slide. Then you put the spring onto the spring guard. There's no direction, you can do it both ways. Then you um, put on this part right here. And then again, you compress it. Then you guide it in there from the side from this side right here. And the, the flat part has to be on the bottom. Otherwise it won't go back into the gun. So there we go, just snaps in there. If it doesn't snap, you just turn it a little bit around. And again, this is a little bit hard to perform. So let me show you one more time. You just get it in there, you get it onto this nub right here. And there we go. Okay, so far so good, then we put the slide back on, you know, and we push this little sear into the gun so that we can slide the slide back on. Now if you're having problems with this, uh, maybe the auto barrel is misplaced, so just rack it a few times until it locks into the right place. But now we can put the slide back, you know, together. Here, just put it onto the guides and here we're gonna run into the seal part just to push it down and then it is all back together. Now we have to insert the slide catch therefore you want to wreck the slide so that this nub right here is aligned with this rectangular hole. You just push it in again and there we go. Wreck your sidearm a couple of times. And then it's all nice and smooth and it should be a lot smoother than before the maintenance process. On the outside, you of course, you know, can just clean it, keep it dry, don't oil it here because it's gonna attract dirt, and it's gonna stick on there. So don't overdo it with oiling on the outside. Actually don't oil it on the outside at all. We talked before about screws that can come loose. Now all of the screws are secured with screw glue, but you know, after heavy use, maybe some of the screws come loose. Uh, one that likes to come loose is this one here on top. So just use a flatted screwdriver and you know try if it's easy to move. If it is easy to move, add again some screw glue. And that should be it. Now here we have the magazines. Those are actually also very, very important to maintain. So let's first of all clean them. And, but before we have to disassemble them, of course. So we push down this little knob right here. And we can remove this, then also here we push the little knob, which is um, you know, just push it in again, and now we have both disassembled. Um, for the lip here on top and the valve, it's the same for both magazines, so let's just do the green gas magazine. Um, here we take again the syn silicone oil. Here always use the syn silicone oil, even if it's very, very um, cold. We just put it here around that it's gonna run in there. And then we push it several times, you know, with some tool or your hand, so it can really sink in there that it, the O-ring sucks it all up and that it stays nice and sealed. The next thing we wanna do is apply the oil here onto the seal lip, you know, so that it doesn't um, just, you know, for a longer lifetime, lifetime, and then you wanna put some of it inside, and then by pressing this valve here in the back, it should run uh, into the valve again to keep the entire thing sealed for a very long time. Okay, what you wanna do next is oiling here the valve right here. Again, you take some of this in silicon oil, you put it here, and keep the magazine for a while like this. Uh, so that it sinks in there. Uh, if you experience any leaking, it most of the time it helps to use a, a valve key and to you know tighten this up a little bit. Um, what also helps is tightening this screw right here. And what you can also do is take the screw completely out and then 
um, apply silicone oil around the seal right here. But only do this if you have leaking problems, otherwise you don't have to do this. Okay, then you can put this back on. That's the right one, that's the, that's the right base. Okay, and now you can clean the magazine. Just use a fresh wipe. Um, just wipe it on the outside a little bit. That's always good. And what you wanna also do is you wanna wipe the inside right here. Uh, that magazine is actually brand new, so it's not gonna be dirty at all. But you just you know press it in there and you go along the feeding tunnel because if there's any dirt or any oil in there, you wanna remove it. It should be as dry as possible because once there's oil in there, you're gonna have the oil inside your hop up and then it's not gonna work properly anymore. So keep it clean and keep it dry here. If you have oil in there, it might help to actually put some rubbing alcohol onto the tissue, which is a dissolvent, and it's gonna remove the oil a lot more efficient than you know just a dry tissue. Okay, that's about it. That's how you maintain the SSP, how does you maintain the magazines. Here on the C2 version, uh, before I forget, you don't have to do anything here in the bottom, um, just do the maintenance on top, and that should be it. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and yeah, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write me an email through the contact form, but please first go through all the videos and then go through the FHQ so that I don't get a million questions that are all the same. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next guide.